Today we're going to look into a little bit more of the advanced surfacing and also do some multi-angle draft. Uh, and we're just going to start a new template with part inches. And I'm going to create a new sketch on my right plane. And that sketch is going to be using uh, right off the bat a center line just to give me a reference with a dimension of 8 inches and we'll make sure that the incident point and the origin are coincident. I'm going to use a three-point arc next to uh, give me my bead. And this is actually going to be a rim that we're creating to give, uh, give you some idea. And I'm just going to create some uh, geometry here. And uh, I'm going to create a center point or a center line there that will give me a mirror point. Uh, so I'm going to take and window select these entities, do a mirror entity, mirror about this section, and accept it. And we're going to do a quick dimension to give me an overall width, which is we're going to say 10 inches. Okay. Now, at this point, I'm just going to use a simple curvature of a three-point arc, and I'm going to drop it into place here, and uh, use a line to give me a, a box here for the center of this wheel. And using all my inference lines as possible, and then I'm going to use that three-point arc again to go from here back up to the point that I started. And then finally a line to close this thing completely up. So this is the outline of half of my wheel. Let's put a couple of dimensions on this thing really quick and we'll make that 2.5. And let's uh, do here, make this three. And I think that's good. We'll go to features and revolve boss base. Select the bottom line here from our revolve. Click OK. And you see here that I already have the startings of a wheel. And I can show you um, by clicking section view here that we've got the curvature there for this wheel and, and all the, the outside edges, the beads, and things like that for the wheel. Now, turn the section view off. Let's do a front plane sketch now to give myself some shape. And this time we're going to use another center line. And I'm just going to drag it straight up and do a line here. And we're going to do a, um, I'm going to mirror that line there. And again, we're going to use a three point arc at the top. And we'll make that coincident. And we'll put a couple of fillets on here to give us some curvature. To take a look at this thing, we'll do it about a half inch fillet on each corner. So we have a, a pretty good looking shape there. And we're going to use a point here as a reference in the center of my sketch. And I'm just going to click OK there to accept that sketch. I'm going to go back to a section view now and uh, click OK there. And this time I'm going to use my right plane to create a, uh, a sketch. And on this sketch I'm going to create a path. I'm going to use that point that I just placed on my sketch, do it uh, a straight line down, and then create a bottom for this thing to be hooked up to. Now that bottom needs to be a uh, construction line. So I'm going to set it as construction. And so that's it. And again, we're going to go into the right plane again. And this time we're going to start creating, well, actually we need to do a, uh, we need to do a split line on this sketch first onto this surface project it 
and just that quick we've got that done now I'll go back to my right view right plane create a sketch I'm going to use a line this time and I'm just going to grab from that point down to my line at the base make sure that that line and that line have a coincident relationship and this line and the bottom of my split line face has a pierce relationship and from there I can put a dimension on it to give it some idea of what the draft is for this thing making it um, construction and we're just going to say that this is 12 degrees now I need to do the same thing on the other side so again we go to the right plane create a sketch a line start it from this point and we might not want as much of a draft on this side um, we'll go ahead and put both of these lines in here at one point in time and make this one a construction and let's go ahead and put a dimension on here for this and I want this one maybe to be six degrees so we got a six degree draft on this one now I got a couple put a couple of relationships on here one pierce here at this point in here and then making sure that this end point is uh, coincident with the uh, the base there that I gave it and at that point I can click OK and all the sketching as necessary has been done now if I go into my surfaces now the advanced surfaces part of this and go to a boundary surface I can select uh, through my selection manager a closed loop I can also select the uh, path here and then the guidelines here and here and you can see there that it gives me the shape that I was looking for with a draft cut through this particular part so I click OK to accept I get out of my uh, section mode uh, I go into my surface bodies and we're going to isolate this surface body just so that we can get a uh, extension on the top and we're going to extend here and use the uh, tangent propagation click OK and exit and then we're going to use a tool called cut with surface and that's a tool under the insert cut and in cut with surface feature and we're going to reverse that cut and click OK and we reversed it the wrong way so we're going to edit that feature and reverse it and cut it again and you can see there that I now have a cut through my uh, face there I can go in at that point and hide my surfaces and also hide my sketches so I have a clean face if we go to our sketch uh, section view again you can see there with the section view that we now have uh, different angles of draft on that particular part and the way that it was cut through and we don't want to see that now and at that point we can go in and do a couple of fillets let's just say quarter inch fillets around the top edge and click OK and then finally we'll do a uh, circular pattern that will give us the rest of these And select our components and you can see there the preview and let's go up one more with that uh, number of instances and you'll see there the preview of that as well and then we'll click OK to accept it so here we've used surfacing techniques to create a multi-angled draft for these cuts and we also used a split face to project that draft from